All right, so what does the behavior of some of these non, uh, non-ideal equations of state look like? On the graph of pressure here on this axis versus V uh, on the, on the uh, x-axis, ideal gas behavior, which would be P times V equals RT, would look something like uh, R times T over V, or you know, approximately some behavior like 1 over V. And so on this graph, uh, that just tends to look like this. It's, it's a monotone decreasing function that as V gets larger, this just gets lower and lower and lower. Okay, um, now what about an equation like this? It's a bit harder to think about how this might look. Uh, but there is a regi regime that looks like this. And this is ideal or ideal uh, like. Uh, but then a more realistic equation of state traces out a path from high pressure. Uh, and it goes through this little bump as it approaches a more ideal gas like behavior in the long run. And you'll see that for a more realistic equation of state, uh, as I've shown here, there's some, there's some interesting behavior that you won't have noticed before. For instance, if I have one pressure in my system, I draw this pressure, for instance, right here, you'll see that it crosses V three times. One, two, and three for a given temperature. So these different lines here occur at different temperatures. These are called isotherms. So you set temperature in your equation equal to some constant, and then you just plot pressure and against uh, volume. And all, of course, the parameters A and B are also both determined by the pressure. And so this is the behavior that was identified by van der Waals that was, um, that was very interesting. Um, so. Um, what kind of equation equation do you know of that has three local extrema? Well, let's think about this for a second. Let's go back to just some basic math. And if we have a graph like this, if we have something that is a function like linear, so let's say y equals some ax, then we'd have a behavior that looks like this, just some sort of line that would cross through zero. Sorry, I'm a little offset there. Uh, if you have plus b, then this offset would be b. Now what about y equals ax squared plus bx plus c? This is going to be something, if A is positive, it will have some sort of behavior that is a square. And so this could go like this, or if we're setting this equal to zero to look for the roots, we can have an equation that doesn't look like that, but instead would, you know, would, would go down here. And we'll see that if we wanted to find, for instance, zero equals AX squared plus BX plus C, we can have two values where this crosses, whereas y, if we set this equal to zero with ax plus b, it happens at exactly one point. Um, that point would be right here, for instance. Now what about zero equals ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d? Here, it's an odd function, so it's going to start in one in one quadrant and, and in the opposite uh, adjacent one, um, it, uh, the the flip of it, and then uh, let's just say, for instance, on this one that a is positive. Let me draw this one in red. So I'm gonna draw this one in red. So this would have something that's that would be odd, like the linear function, um, and but it also you know that that sometimes these functions have little ripples in them from playing with your Texas Instruments calculators or MATLAB or whatever. And so here we see that this equation right here crosses the axis at three locations. In interestingly enough, all of these equations
for the equations of state can be rewritten as z cubed plus alpha z squared plus beta z plus some gamma is equal to zero. I don't really understand why we have to use Greek letters for this, but that's just what historically has been done. So you get a little language lesson in addition to the thermal lesson. So that's why uh, these are called cubic equations of state. Cubic. Cubic equations of state. And uh, Z is defined in these cubic equations of state as PV over RT. This is called the compressibility factor. Compressibly, well, no, compressibility. An ideal gas, Z, uh, is equal to one. Um, most real substances, we end up with <coughs> uh, a Z of approximately uh, 0.31 at certain conditions. Um, but in general, there's no limit. EOS can go beyond cubic. In fact, I think the equation of state, like function equation that was made for water, has something like 50 different parameters. But then you have 50 parameters, you should just look it up in a table. But for instance, you know, we can extend this, and this is, this just becomes an exercise in futility of curve fitting. But there are equations of state that have a number of additional terms, r plus b over v under bar plus c over v under bar squared plus d over v under bar cubed. Oh, that's a horrible three. Let me fix that three. Uh, cubed dot 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 for, you know, ad nauseum. So, but let's just go back to the z cubed equation. z cubed plus alpha z squared plus beta z plus gamma. So we, let's we're just say we have to do this to understand a better idea of how we can solve these equations of state. And what is it? What is this? Um, so all of the equations of state can be rearranged like this. We have better tools for solving polynomials. And so that's why we do this. We're using computers. We can solve these polynomials. So you'll notice with this type of shape, if I make a coordinate system here, and then uh, copy and paste this a number of times. Copy, paste, paste. We can uh, start to look at the different behaviors. So this can have one solution. For instance, if you're starting down here, because we get rid of the coefficient in front of z, it's positive. So it will start down the left-hand corner, and it will rise and it can do a wiggle, but there is an option that the wiggle doesn't cross the, 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 the zero plane again. And so we end up with only one solution. It's possible, but it's only a very small range where there are two solutions. For instance, this thing goes up, it crosses, comes back down, and the bump just touches. So then it hits there, and it hits there. And so you can have two solutions. Then a cubic equation, of course, we talked about just a little bit ago, can have three solutions, one, two, and three, depending on, on the shape and where this, this crosses the axis. So, in general, quadratic equations uh, of the form uh, ax squared uh, plus bx plus c uh, can be solved, right? Equals zero. What is this? Well, x is going to be equal to minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus four. Oh, I changed my, my, uh, I'm making big b's, big b's. Okay, 
it's a coffee chain in Michigan, uh, 4AC all divided by 2 times A. So you know here you have two solutions, positive and negative of the root. Well, now what about the cubic equation? What is the equivalent for the cubic equation to the quadratic equation that you've solved many, many, many times in all of your math classes? Why don't you just pause the video here and take five minutes to write down the solution for the cubic equation on your own. Do, 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 do. Anyways, I'm not going to sum the whole Jeopardy song. Please stop. Please, I mean, if you really pause your video, I apologize. Hopefully you took a little break. Um, don't waste your time trying to do this. Uh, because... It's too difficult. It requires, I mean, there's multiple ways. There's two kind of known ways of doing this, but they both require a lot of math and a lot of algebra, and it's not a compact form, and it's not something that's nice and easy. So don't waste your time with an analytical approach. We have computers. Use a computer. Uh, and use a nonlinear or polynomial solver. And I'll show you that in the code in a little bit. I have a Python and a MATLAB code that makes all of these graphs uh, for a Peg Robinson equation of state. So, long story short, uh, these are called cubic equations of state, cubic equations of state. Um, can all be converted into the following form, um, starting from the 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 uh, whatever um, type of uh, equation of state form. This is Van der Waals, Peng Robinson, or any of the other more generalized ones can be converted into this cubic form, and it becomes important to solve the cubic form to identify the conditions where the, this, this cubic equation of state solves the, the problem and solves the zero. Uh, I'll explain why on the next video.